coming to you from my kitchen today wow i do the dishes because multitasking is just the name of the game now and watching baby sleep because she is not really visible is she well she's taking a nap and she's being adorable about it started what was it yesterday no the day before having her nap in her pack and play in her room which is new and she's uh i don't even want to say it knock on wood she's doing really good right now so right the name of this video you obviously are going to be able to see what it's about um i did not get uh my dream job or really what could potentially have been my dream job um you know i didn't ever do the job so i don't know that it was like as perfect as i thought it was gonna be but it would have been pretty good um so i've mentioned before that i don't really love my current job um and like there's nothing really wrong with it it's just it's clinical and that's not why i became a dietitian i became a dietitian to work with people and clinical is just so much paperwork so much auditing so much like preparing for state surveys and i don't know i just think that the people aspect gets lost a little bit um the other thing is that i would prefer to work on the preventative side of disease um rather than the treatment side and it's just not what i'm doing right now so like i'm fine where i'm at but i don't want to be there forever and that's kind of where like the hardest part about not getting the job that i want because i kind of out of nowhere got this message on linkedin hey would you like to apply for this job and I had never really thought about corporate wellness before, but the more and more I thought about it, the more I was like, wow, I would really, really love to do that. It's basically everything I would want to do. Um, the company that I was applying for was a really big company, so I would be able to reach thousands of people and I was like super hyped. I felt like the interview went really well. I, you know, was trying not to get too excited about it, but I'm terrible at that. So I started to get excited, started to get a little bit confident that you know maybe i actually have a job but i didn't i got the email yesterday that they had chosen somebody else which sucks like you know whatever it wasn't the opportunity for me something else will come along blah, blah, blah. all that crap might be true but like it still sucks whenever i you know get in my head of like this like thinking about a potential other opportunity and then it doesn't go through i kind of feel like i'm starting over at square one i feel like okay now like i'm still in this job that i don't like and i have literally no idea how long it's going to be for like if you were just sitting here and tell me today oh i can see into the future you're going to work at this job for one more year and then you're going to work you know with nutrition education or some other Thing that i would really like to do i would be totally fine with that but i don't know if it's going to be one more year five more years what if i get stuck in it for the rest of my life that's like a big big fear of mine and at this point i don't really know how to move forward i mean like there's things i can do to help i can get a lot better at networking because i'm not very good at that i can I don't know i guess like network like that's it i just have to wait for the opportunity to arise create my own opportunities but at the same time like private practice isn't something i really want to do either because i feel like you're just reaching such a like you're reaching people that can afford you and that's it and i don't know it does really really scare me to get stuck in a job to like not like what i do for a living i don't know if that's the millennial in me or what but i feel like the steps i'm taking 
are arbitrary <laughs> like that it's like rolling the dice it's like okay i'm paying money now to go get my masters what if it's not even worth it i'm like putting all this extra effort into outside things what if they don't pan out i mean i've twice in the last two years not gotten jobs that i really wanted mm. and bobby just woke up so Well, good morning, sunshine. Good morning, my little Bobby. Look at your cute shirt. <gasps> Hi. Yeah, baby girl. You're so pretty. Hi, hi, hi. But at least now I have this. This little perfect baby. She makes everything better because it's like at the end of the day, if I don't like my job, I come home to something I really do like right here. Something that is my favorite thing in the whole world. Um. But yeah, so, like, all that being said about whatever, my fears and everything, I do honestly believe that there is something else out there for me. Um, I really, like, I do want to try to work towards something different. And I, one way that I'm going to start trying to do that is through these videos i you know been posting a lot about baby a lot about mama stuff um and i want to start talking more about nutrition food wellness all the kinds of things that i'm passionate about in my work that i just for some reason haven't really talked about on my hobby my videos um but i really wanted to thank like everyone who does watch my videos everyone who you know watches regularly and likes and comments and even if you just watched one video like thank you for giving like my hobby a little bit more purpose i guess um and i hope that in starting talking about more nutrition and health that i can maybe reach some more people and use this as an avenue to kind of do what i'm passionate about doing um even if my nine to five isn't perfect Thank you so much for watching. Um, leave a comment down below if you'd be interested in hearing more about nutrition um, and any specific topics you would maybe want to hear about. So say bye-bye, Bobby. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching my mama's videos. It makes her happy when you guys are watching. Yeah, it does. <laughs>